Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Foreign Food Friday here, Big John TV. We're all about food. Can we do one? That's how we roll. Thanks for tuning in. I said foreign, but we're also going uh, friend mail and another fancy food show Friday. So thanks for tuning in to watch it. I'm excited. Yeah. Yep. So got an email from a company again that was like, hey, did you catch us at the show? And I said, no, we didn't get to go to the show this year. Well, would you like some samples sent to you? Absolutely, please twist my arm and send me food. Yep. That's how that all worked. Yeah. So and That's what you said exactly. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It was like, heck yes. So here we are. We got a cool company, cool couple of snacks. And like I said, I'm super excited to try them. So. Yep, this is all from Paolo Ro Rovegnati. I'm, I'm sure I butchered that. It's an Italian company. They smoke meats. These are all traditional Italian style meats. And they are smoked in Italy and sliced here in the U.S. This is their new black label line. Mm -hmm. They've got six selections. We've got three of the new ones here. And it's designed for you to be able to create your own little charcuterie boards. It says it's good for snacks and lunch and dinner. Yep. Just all the time. So instead of walking into a deli and having to get individual meats cut for you to bring home and to put together your, your charcuterie tray, it's now ready to go. It's sliced and more portable. Mm -hmm. Also... Fantastic for picnics, parties, right. road trips. Um, it comes in a nice plastic container. What could go wrong? Grab yourself a loaf of bread, grab some meat, grab a cheese, and you're ready to roll. Right. So yep. the options right now are prosciutto crudo, which we have, salami milano. Um, no, we don't have that one. Uh, salami napoli. Yep. We do have that one. Classic mortadello. We do not have that one. Hot sopracetta. Mm -hmm. Do not have that one. And prosciutto cotto. Yes. Yeah, yep. Classic. Okay. Classic. Classic. And so they do plan on releasing more flavors throughout the coming year. These are brand new for 2023. And right. The other item we've got is their meat sticks. These are salami sticks. They come in hot and spicy, classic, mild, and smoke flavor. Nice. Right, so and we got the hot and spicy. Yes. So again, the food show, these companies are at that event to promote themselves, to get themselves out there, get networks throughout the country. So we'll post all the information we have on them. Right. We couldn't specifically find a list of stores, but there's... Right, but they did say about 2,000 stores here in the U.S. are going to carry these products, so right. hopefully one of those is near you. So you might not know it now, but hopefully in the near future, you will, because hopefully mm -hmm. they, they blow up, assuming that they're going to be tasty, which I'm expecting. Yeah. So this company's been around since 1943, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. And they even give you a little wine pairing on the back. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Let's dig in. Pick a... We should one. start with the uh, salami. I think that's going to be the easiest of them all. Let me say this. I think that'll be the most flavorful. I think that one's going to be the, the like entry level, and I think we'll work our way up. Okay. Realistically, they're all going to be safe. Well, then why did you say pick one? Last. So then well, I will open the prosciutto cotto classic. Ugh. All we need is some melon and some extra cheese. We don't. We weren't prepared for the pairings. But we're you ready. You should have made a charcuterie board. I know, right? You want to split this one with me? Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're oh. tell telling Jamie it's just a ham, right? It's just a fancier ham. So, this says Italian cooked ham. It, it's yeah, a little. I'm take a little. Uh, turn <laughs> turn Ooh, it smells really good. I just want a little piece. Here. Here. I was going to say, I don't want Ooh, just a little piece. Really good. The uh, fat on the edge is heck good. Okay, this one is really. Really good. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like ham. Mm. This Look isn't a cured ham. This is strictly a cooked ham. It tastes like a nice like lunch meat ham. Mm -hmm. That's really good. You like but that one, huh? But let's not downplay it. Let Tons me of flavor. This is fantastic. The salt level? Perfect. Mm -hmm. I like that oh. one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get ham and it's just like... Ew. Nasty, and like. It's got a great texture. It doesn't have that like slimy feel that mm -hmm. sometimes packaged ham can get. That and, one's good. And that looks like full on legit slices. Right. No processed. No mm. um, pressed. Because that's what you call it when they press the pieces back oh. together to make a lunch meat. That's fantastic. That one's good. That one is very Boom. good. Boom. Super Boom. thumbs I up. I like it. Yep. All right. Prosciutto, yep. do it. This is prosciutto right. crudo. So pull, the, pull the sleeve off, yep. up, up or down, either way. I yep. Put it down. And then there's see a little start yep. right there. The easy peel 
plastic on this is fantastic because I hate when I can't open things up. Yeah. And that's what would make this great snacking on the road or in a park somewhere too. Just... So now this one's a little bit different. This is a dry cured ham. So it's like junky. Um, it's it's still... closer to salami. Right. It'll How still it... have the texture of the last one. Maybe a little bit drier in the, in the, the mouth feel. It should have a little bit more of a, of a stronger flavor as well. Oh, that smell. You want to share half that with me on that one? Or? Um, no. Okay, but okay. This one's not your favorite. I'm not a huge fan of the cured meats. Mm. But this has a nice flavor. It's not overly salted. Oh. Sometimes they, the cured meats for me get a very gamey taste to them. Look at that. Look how thin that slice is. Absolutely beautiful on that. That one is so good. I'm going right here. Why'd you grab that and put it back? Because I wanted... showing it off. Right. I already have this one ready to go. But guess what? You don't need to worry because... This oh. one with like some cheese or like grapes I was about to say that. Something. This one needs something to go with it for mm. me because it's very, very rich. But it's the, also very good. The flavors are so intensified in that. Again, though... Not overly salty. Right. Not overly funky. Sometimes prosciutto or those dry cured have that like, you know, when I, when I was cutting that ham on for Christmas time and nobody else would eat it because it's like super, super intense. This is not quite that far, but on the same road, and that's delicious. That's really good. All right. Why don't you open the last one? So, Jamie, you said not your favorite? I'll go sideways. Okay. He, fair enough. I'll do thumbs up. I'm going to go almost fully up. That was really good. Now, salami. Salami, like Napoli. Peppery salami with smoke flavoring. Ooh. I like salami. I'm a oh, huge salami fan. I love salami. Hold on. It's not open yet. <laughs> okay, okay. That's fine. Go. Well, thank you, sir. You're welcome. It's very strong smelling. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's heck of Look at that. The slices on these are just perfect. Ooh. When they're that thin, the, that meat's just going to absolutely melt. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smell. Good saltiness in there. Good balance of the meat and the, like, fat in it. It's got that, like, nice, clean, white fat. This would be nice with, like, a little mm. piece of stinky cheese wrapped in the Ew. middle of it. Mm-hmm. Crusty bread. Right. I did throw out some crackers over here if you want to wrap some of it with a cracker. You know what? Well, these are the crackers from last week that we tried. If you didn't see that video from the other fancy food pile, mm -hmm. I want to check it out. That salami has a great flavor. I can taste the seasonings in yep. there. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> winner, winner. I didn't actually get a full bite. Oh, no. Salami dinner. Ooh. The taste with the cracker in there just amplifies everything. That's fantastic. Mm hmm That cracker's a little bit too crunchy. You were a bit worried about the salami, were you not? I don't care about sal salami. But. This one's good. There you because, go. Because is, is, is salami a visual thing for you? Yeah. Yeah. Because you look at it and then you see, oh, look at all that fat. Is that what it is? It's not actually fat, is it? The white it, pieces in there are it fat, is. but it's really? also flavor. Yes, but that's the flavor, and that, that's why it helps melt in your mouth. That's why you're not chewing on it like it's a jerky. It's very ugly looking. Uh, it, it can be intimidating, to be honest. It, it does have that intimidation factor, and I know you, and I know your palate, and I know your eyes, and you eat with your eyes, and sometimes you let your eyes deceive you as opposed to <clears throat> trying He's it. not wrong. That is completely accurate. Way to take his side. <laughs> but he's not wrong. I'm on the right side. All right, so clearly thumbs up yeah. from the table. Everything. These are great. I can't wait to find the other ones and try them too. Yep. Yes. All right, last up. This is the good source of protein, 19 gram salami sticks. This is the hot and spicy flavor. I'm excited about these two. Uh, no, stop, stop. Is there a spot? Stop. Did just, I miss it? Just stop, please. <laughs> she sort of got it open. It's like... Two seconds. Ooh. So that means she gets the first bite. Knock it off, cat. Here, Padre. Thank you. Do you need help getting one, too? Yeah, if you can open the bag better. 
All right, there it is. No. Oh, yeah. Let me one up. Be careful, the cat's underneath the table. Yeah. Somebody is about to get jumped on. Probably. He's going to climb a leg, and you're going to see us hit the it ceiling. It's hot and spicy, but let's see. Is it spicy? Not hot or spicy. Mm. Good so texture. Spicy? I like that texture. That's it's dry nice. without being chewy and like... I don't like it. What don't you like about it? I don't like it. I don't know. Oh, there's the... Like there's the hot and spicy. There's a little spicy to it. There's kind of a weird flavor to it. I don't know what it is, but... It's yeah. not like traditional American meat sticks. Right. That's, that's, that's that probably why. If you're going to eat it, do it. It's fine. Um... Maybe there's like red pepper or a, a a pepper in there somewhere. Right. I absolutely love it. I think the flavor's fantastic. The salt level's very minimal yes. compared to like an American yes. meat stick, meat stick, salami stick, whatever you want and to call it. And it's solid. Mm -hmm. It's not greasy and fatty and juicy. It's like solid and meaty. I, I Honestly, this is a little bit more of an advanced flavor mm -hmm. of a meat stick than you would be used to. It's got things in it like um, paprika, mace, nutmeg, citrus... It's also got sweet paprika, mm. hot chilies, white pepper. So there are some unusual flavors in there. Mace mm -hmm. is a very strong one. I love it. Absolutely love it. Which one's the best on the table? The this and this. I really like the salami. This, this, that. This is last. I mean, no. This is second. This is last. Okay. That's last. Oh, I'm so, I like I these. don't like it. I don't know why. That's you okay. Know? That's okay. Like that's the point, and that's the mm -hmm. the this is that's what we're bringing to the table, right? Is everyone's palates are different, old to young, right? Dad, son, daughter, everybody has their opinion. <laughs> you mom. didn't say mom, mom. I I just you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Parents and kids. It's hard to get a review from everybody at one time, right? Right. And companies. They'd like to know that kind of stuff. Exactly. A, a child, like we're probably not, he's probably not the demographic they're looking for anyway. Probably not. But it's a fair, solid opinion. And I'm completely fine with it. You don't have to love everything you try. Look what the expiration date is. 10th of May. That's my birthday. <laughs> but I'm excited and I'm happy that you tried everything on this table. Yes. That's what matters to me. Yeah, and I'm excited because I looked on this and this has 19 grams of protein for this. Yeah. And only one carbohydrate. What yeah. about the rest? Awesome. What about the rest of this? Stuff? I don't know. It's got stuff too. Uh, let me say this: we didn't got we did not get paid financially. We made we, we're not getting paid for this review. This isn't we're a getting paid with with me, but our reviews, as you can see, are one hundred percent legit. You knew going into this, I was going to be all over it. Jamie had a little bit of reservation. Maddie, I think, was solid. Yeah. So I mean, mm -hmm. our opinions are legit. Those those won't be adjusted because of the freebies. That's for sure. So what were you asking about on this? You want to know carbohydrates in it? Yeah. Sure. Zero. Protein? Eleven. There's only 110 calories in this. These are great. Yep. Yeah. Sodium great. contents may not be the greatest, but... Don't look at that part. <laughs> Sodium? Sodium. Salt. Oh. Yep. All right. Are we done? Yep. yep. Yes. I enjoyed these. I'm yes. so glad that they sent this these to the us best. to try. Yep. Yeah. I want some grapes or something with this one, though. Paolo so, Ravignati, thank Tom you. Tom said we needed melon to wrap around. Cantaloupe, prosciutto, wrap it around it. That's fantastic. You get the salty, the sweet, the soft. It's I, If you hate pineapple on pizza, that's probably just like a completely gross oh, yeah. idea to you. But that's what really, really does work. I love work. pineapple on cheese pizza. Sticks. Wrap it around cheese sticks. That little, would be good too, yeah, actually. A little, little extra funky cheese with some strong mm -hmm. flavor to it. You know what would be good? You All make this that. like bacon. And then wrap it like a wrap it around a cheese stick, then fry it. There you like go. a gourmet um, ham and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How about we get out of here? Yeah. yeah. How about we're done? Thanks for watching. Uh, social medias. What other, what other channels? What other platforms um, can they find us on? You can find Big John TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. There you go. Reels and TikToks. Not so much on the TikToks these days, but definitely pushing the reels. So go follow us. It's a, it's a good way to support the channel. We should like subscribe to the friends. Yeah. Yeah. And bring the, the bring the bell. bell. Leave a comment. Helps the video a lot. Yes, helps it does. Us, helps us. Uh, 
helps us get out there. Yeah. So and, and watch us. And share our video. Share our content with your friends. Say, hey, yeah. check out this awesome family and the weird random stuff that they get to eat. There you go. That's how we roll. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I we'll did. catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. See you. Thank you.